Hey guys, so for this video I kind of want to do a little talk through, talk to you, I guess, um, because I don't, I don't think I've ever done that, except, like, tag videos, but that's not really talking to you, so, um, and because I have new subscribers, I kind of want to, like, just update all of you on what's going on in my life while doing makeup, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this. I know other YouTubers call it a lot of things. I'm not in school yet, or again, my break is still going, so I'm still in, like, winter break mode, I guess. Um, I start classes next week, so hopefully by then I'll see what my workload is, and I'll be able to, like, make a schedule so I can tell you what videos are going to be up. I have new products to try out. Um... So yeah, I said that in the last video, new products, I'll do that. So I have a couple and I'm gonna test those. Okay, I ramble so much, maybe this was a bad idea. Okay, I'm gonna face with my Fix and Perfect Primer by Rimmel. The first new product I'm trying out is the Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. I'm, I'm sure you've heard of it. This is all over YouTube, which is why I got it. Um, it's in Ultra Light, which is the lightest ultra light. Uh, the lightest shade, and I've never, I think I tried it out when I got it, but right now I have a lot going on, <laughs> a lot, it's all scarring, like I don't think I have any actual acne going on, it's all scarring, which kind of sucks, but um, I'm guessing this will cover it, um, it might be too light, so I'm gonna see how it works and then if it's too light I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer which is my usual concealer alright so I'm just gonna I don't know how much to use like I'm just gonna a little dot and just dot it all over my face so I don't know uh, yeah. so oh that is really light even for me um so, like I said, my winter break is almost over, which I'm kind of excited about because it's been, um, I've been on break since December 13th, so yeah, all, over a month, and that's a lot of time. To do nothing basically oh god that is really white oh I'm gonna go over with foundation so whatever but now this covered pretty well actually like I could put this on and then foundation would be good I think I'm gonna put this under my eyes too um, but yeah um, I go to an art school and over the break um, I had really nothing to do there was no, like, transition from one class to the other. Um, all my teacher said was to write, obviously, because I'm a writer, creative fiction writer. Um, that's my major. So, I've just been writing a lot. Um, and, which is good, because in one of my classes, we had to go around on the last day and, and say affirmations, like, over winter break, I will do this instead of I want to, like, I will, because if you say you will, it's a positive thing, I don't know, my teacher is really positive, she's great, and I said I will get over, um, like, this little writer's block I've had in my novel, which, <laughs> shameless self-promotion, I wrote a novel, published it, I guess it's not really promotion, because I'm not going to put the link, I don't know. I might put the link if I really want to be shameless. Um, so yeah, I wrote a novel when I was 16. I was a junior in high school. I did it for NaNoWriMo, which if you don't know is National Novel Writing Month. It's in November where you just write an entire novel in a month. Um, it sounds kind of scary when you publish it, but I had from November, or I guess December, end of November when I finished my novel. I reached my word count and I won, and, <clears throat> sorry, 
So I had from December 1st to June of the next year to edit and publish, which I did. Um, this is really nice concealer. I'm... Ugh. Okay. And so I published that when I was 16. Or was I 17 at the time? I was 17 when I... I was 16 when I wrote it. 17 when I published it. Um, and now I'm 18. Turning 19 this year. Oh my god. And I'm on my second novel. Um, obviously not doing it just for NaNoWriMo. I've been writing it basically since the first was published. I don't know. It's been harder writing the second one because the first one you have no expectations, but the second it's part of the series, so I have to make sure it flows. So that's kind of scary, but when I did the affirmation in my class, um, I went home and I started writing and I wrote a couple new chapters and I'm really liking it, so that's good. Um, God, I do ramble a lot. Um, this concealer's great. I'm just, um, to save time, I'm just gonna finish up some concealing and then come back with foundation because I talk a lot. So I ended up just doing concealer, um, because my foundation is always too dark and the concealer seems to match my face pretty well. Um, so I just kind of blended it all around. Um, and yeah, um, I just always forget to do that before doing my lips. Um, yeah, just regular chapstick. Um, so I have no idea what I'm doing on my eyes, or anything for that matter. Um, I don't know, I kind of woke up today and I want, I've always wanted a burgundy kind of look, and for some reason I thought I didn't have burgundy eyeshadow, but I do, in my Nude Dude palette by The Balm. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but it's going to consist of this, something. There's the burgundy right there. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it on one eye and then come back. I don't know what happened. Um, well, I did burgundy and black and it's really dark. And now I'm losing light so I'm just going to have to do this really fast so I don't have to turn on my super intense yellow lights. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just going to do this really fast. Um, prime my eye with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. And... Alright. Uh, it's pretty simple. I'm just using a flat shader brush for the majority of this. And then a blending brush later. So, in the new tube palette, I just go in with the burgundy, which is called Sexy. And I just put that all over my lid. Just... I pack it on. I don't really swipe it so much because, I mean, look at that. But, um, there is some fallout, so I don't really swipe it. I just try and pack it on. Just all of my lid up to my crease. And I go in with Sultry, which is there, um, on a blending brush. And I just want to blend that over it. I forgot to do this first, it's like the transition color in my crease. But just go over the top to kind of blend out the edges. Because in the end it'll fade out into this brown. So you could just leave it like this. Burgundy going into the brown. Yeah. But um, for whatever reason, I wanted to make it super dark and vampy. Uh, I don't know. So I, I went in with Sirius, which is just a matte black on the flat shader brush again. Because um, the angled brush that I have is absolute crap. So I just go in the outer V with it. So my camera cut out and lighting is all gone, so I need the fancy bright lights. I just looked into the light. Oh my god, I'm going blind. Um, so yeah, it, I'm not sure where it cut out, but I'm pretty sure it was 
somewhere along here. Um, so what I did, I, I talked for like four minutes past where it cut out, but I just, I think it cut out saying I was putting black into the crease, which I did, and then I just swirled, blended it all together, and dragged it underneath, as you can see. And I used a new mascara, CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. Um, and I don't know, it's it's alright. Um, I like my flamed out. I bought another one of that anyway. So, and then, um, don't mind my brows. I stopped recording to do my brows really fast because I wanted to make sure that there was enough sunlight coming in for me to finish up. But of course, I did it so fast that they're just all wonky. Just don't mind them. Um, and I wasn't sure what lip to do. I don't really have nude lipstick. So I just went with uh, ColourPop in Feminist, which is dark purple. Figured. I mean, I was going to do black, but I figured purple looks kind of nice. So, um, yeah, this is the completed look. This is probably a really long video. I'm sorry. Um, I talk a lot. I'm thinking of making a channel of just rants without makeup because apparently I like talking to a camera. So I'm gonna go because these lights are bugging me. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Have a lovely day. Remember to smile. Bye.